Hello, it's Sarah, and I have some ATCs today. Um, I was saying, I had mentioned, and I don't think I put these up yet, um, I'm doing a swap on the uh, website ATCs for All, and it's um, an art doll swap. It's not due till June 6th, so I've been trying to come up with stuff and oh, uploading um, collage sheets that you can make these art dolls with, and I'm just not thrilled with what I have. Um, so I'll show you what I have. I don't think I've put these up yet. Um, I don't have it off the top of my head where I downloaded these from. Like I just got <clears throat> this one. I can show you real quick. It's just sitting here on my desk. And I just wanted to play with these. I'm, I haven't done this one yet, but this one was kind of, I mean, cute. I like the big head versus the little legs and stuff. Um, then this one was cute. I did do one with this paper and I'll show you her at the end. But I don't know. I'm like, hers, the girls that are hosting it, um, let me see if I have her name, Kathy, had like her samples out and they looked so cool. But anyway, so this is what I came up with with this one and my husband really doesn't like their faces. <laughs> like it's just the white face, uh, like they're mimes, I guess. I guess they're mimes. I don't know. I kind of like the, the background on these. It was just really simple. I just kept it simple, black and white, like with the ribbon and stuff. So, I mean, that's what I came up with for them. And I um, stickled stuff. I always love to stickle stuff. And then this is my other one. So you ha I made a set of three. Um, but, I, like I said, I mean, I'm not in love with them. I like to really be excited about them. This was the first ones I did, and I, I kind of do like these. And this one's... Um, embrace imperfection and I loved it because I messed up on the like when I when I uh put ink to these the embrace got like messy and stuff but it was like really perfect for embrace imperfection get it because it wasn't perfect but I just like I use some sprays I'm trying to get more into the mixed media backgrounds and I'll show you a couple of those in a minute and like I love this um this is actually just a yarn that I bought that has the fibers like that I don't know it's called eyelash trim I think a lot of people call it but it was just a yarn and I put some bling and did this uh these kind of similar I used the um liquid pearls and this one says be yourself I don't know if the glare I, I don't I didn't even look in the camera to see if there was total glare on that one and this one says inspire art she's a butterfly this one, I think I used all different wings. No, these two have that kind of wings. I got those at the ATC store, those wings. And then this one's a butterfly. So those are another attempt. And then this is, I've only done one of these so far. Um, this is with this um, printable that I showed you. This one. So this is what I came up with for her. I actually love the, um, the way this paper uh, punches. This is, I think it's a die cuts with a view paper pack and I lost the cover for it, but it's this like foil paper and it's really, it's only one sided, but it, die, um, not die cuts, I'm sure it would die cut really nice, but it punches like the Martha Stewart punch and stuff. See, and this is another die cuts with a view stack, but it's just like glitter. So I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, but this, these wings punched really well with that, which I haven't been, had as much luck with some of the punches. But I loved it because it has a little doggy, and I did the black and white again at the bottom, and it just says best friends. And then this is a bread, and it says you make my heart sing. And see, because see, even the little um, butterfly punch works really well. So I just put them up there to tie in the blue. I don't know. I'm still something just, I'm not in love with it, but I do kind of like this one. Um... Anywho, I'm so critical. Oh, there's a little piece of doily under there, which I, if I'd have inked it, I think it might have showed up better. All right, so that's that one. And then I made this one, which I love. Now, I don't know if you guys know about Art Chick Studios. Here's their card. This card is Creative Art Supplies. They sell um, different mixed media um, stuff. It's a website. And this is their card. See, it says happy artist on her. And this is the same thing, but this card that I cut her from went this way. So she was bigger. So I just cut her out of the card and I did a mixed media background. I used some um, Tim Holtz paint. I had seen this 
I'll have to figure out whose video it was. I've been watching so many, but it was um, someone, a mixed media artist, and they painted the background. That's what these like lines are in that. And then I just used my inks, like my Tim Holtz inks, and just rubbed it in it and sprayed it with water and a bunch of stuff. And then I stamped with this stamp, and I don't know what where I got this. This is old as could be. Um, stamped that on top. And then I colored the flowers, and you can tell there's like a metallic. This is that Lemire paint again, the Jacquard uh, fabric paint, but it's definitely metallic. This is pearl violet, and I colored the green with halo blue green. The green is halo blue green. Can you see that? But I thought that turned out pretty cool. And then I just moved her up a little, because see, there's room down there, and put this red to play in with her um, flower in her hair and the purple um, eyelash trim. Like, I just think this one, I really love this one. And I wanted to tell you something else. I got these um, filigrees at, uh, these came with my flower order from um, Orchid, Wild Orchid Crafts, and they're silver. But I used my gold leafing pen and made it gold. And I love that. I am loving that because this, the gold leafing pen, it's such a high polish gold that it makes it. So I have had a hard time finding embellishments in this, like, I have a few. I pulled a few out that I had, but the, you know, this high polish gold, but I wanted it to use a filigree and I, oh my God, I was so happy with that. I also did it to the leaf that's in her hair. And then these are just two of the little Martha Stewart punches on the bottom. But I'm, I'm really loving this one and I'm doing a swap with Shonda. No, no, not Shonda. I'm sorry. Um, Marlene. Um, f for Marlene. For you. For you. Oh, man. Sorry, Marlene. I'm messing up your YouTube name. But she's doing a swap. Um, just an ATC one-to-one -one swap. And I'm like, all right, I'm in. So I'm trying to come up with something cool for that. And I really love this one, Marlene. So if you're seeing this, um, it's called Happy Artist. And I made that one. So... And then, but I also made these too, and I really like these. These are kind of like a set. You know, I wonder if I should be taking these out of the, I might stop the glare. But I did the same background on these. I used sprays and I used the Tim Holtz, um, just ink pads and rub them on my um, worksheet here and then um, ink wet it and stuff. But you can kind of tell it's got a little bit of um, shine to it, maybe not. And then these big birds, were from the um, collage sheet that I got from um, Crafty Secrets. It's right here. I got this from the ATC store. So there were two big birds. One was here and one was on the other side. So I cut them out and then this one just says Soulful Voyage. And see how I used perfect pearls in the background. That's what the hearts are. I don't know. I just had fun with these doing the, um, I kind of did collage and mixed media. I don't know. And then these are punches too, which I love that this paper, like I said, it punches so nice. So I could even use, oh, I don't even have it up here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this little flower punch and just put two little flowers there. I put a ladybug on this one and then this one says, fly away with me. And I put a brad in the front. That's just a little birdie brad. I don't know where I got that. A couple more flowers, a little birdie up here. But this again, it's that, um, See, there's sprays on there. You can't, the birdies hide everything. I put lace, obviously you can see that. So these two were pretty cool. I like, I'm kind of starting to feel it now and get more, um, although I haven't stopped using the kits. These are my St. Patty's Day ones and I'm loving this gold leafing pen. I love it. It's so cool. It does such a great job. So I have those two. I did, this one was just a for the birds was the name of the kit. I used the image, but I used a lot of my own stuff for this one. I don't know why. I put the, I used the feathers that came with it and a brad that I had and some um, ribbon, but these two are cool. I love this one, especially. This Believe one, this one turned out so cute. She, the ATC store sells this trim, by the way. I'm at nine minutes here, but I'm gonna order that the next time because it came in this kit and after using it, I'm just like, this is too cool. So I'm definitely gonna use that. Then this one just happens to match and have very similar colors, but this was the By the Sea um, kit, and I'm pretty sure, actually no, that blue ribbon right there is mine, but everything else is from the kit, and I just stickled around her with some like orange stickles, I don't know. I have a lot of colors of stickles now, and I'm loving it. 
This is just, I mean, it doesn't have a name. It's just orange. It's pretty. I love stickles. I'm, I'm like, I love stickles. My Wink Stella, I'm really getting, I'm enjoying that too. And I have others. I have the gold and silver. And I haven't, because this is a much, when you use the gold, let me just show you. I have this scrap paper right here. Um, but it's, it's gold. And it's like a marker. So let me just see if. It's very gold. So maybe if you wanted to color something gold, you wouldn't have to use gold paper or anything. I mean, but that's gold and glimmery. And then let me see the silver. Because I haven't really used them because every time I put it on something or want to put it on something, I really just want it clear. So I end up going with the clear all the time. But is this one silver? I have, I have a silver one. I have two clear because I thought I lost my clear and I ordered another one. So here's the silver. So let's see how this turns out. It's, it's gray. I mean, it's silver. So maybe if you're using it on white cardstock and you just want to color something in, it's not really glittery either. Maybe I have to shake it. That definitely didn't come out as glittery, but it's like gray. It's like a gray marker with some shimmer in it. Yeah, I'm starting to see it now. I think I should have shaken it before I did it. But that's Wink of Stella. These, I've seen a couple videos with people um, using these and I thought, oh, okay, but the clear is amazing. Get the clear because you can just take anything. Like I put the um, clear on the CD on the wings. So let's see if there's a glare or if you can see it. It's just a shimmer. It's not like stickles. It's more of a shine or a sh like, I don't know how to explain it. It's a shimmer. That's how I would explain it. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's really, really nice. It's fun too, because basically you can just paint or just use it like say, I'll just try and do a, another section on here. But it's clear, but the shimmer, ah, uh, it's not showing very well. But anywho, all right, you guys. Um, You know what? I kind of like your opinions on these art dolls. These. I think I'm liking the purple because I'm only going to do like one more set of three if anything. I might try to do, um, where the heck is she? Because this is my first set. No, this actually was my first set. This is my second set. I don't know. I want to be, I want to be good and I'm kind of liking her. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do the third set. I'll finish these. But I have to use these too. I want to try and use these with the big heads. So we'll see. But, you know, any comments, which ones you like, or any ideas for making these little art dolls? Because there's lots of um, collage sheets for the bigger ones. But I actually 50%ed this, I think. I think these were for um, the bigger ones. And then I just like, when I printed it out, I just put like a five by seven or something. So the thing printed in a five by seven size and then it was like pretty good for size for this. It's actually a little small, but cause like, see how big these are? They fill up the card more. So, um, anywho, uh, that's about it. I love this one. I think I'm sending this to Marlene. I just love it. This, I would love this image too. This is, like I said, it's from, um, Art Chick Studios. So, all right. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.